If you just bought a new gaming laptop, there are certain things that you need to be cautious about and things you need to do before taking it out for a spin. So for beginners, this video is a guide on how to be cautious and to get the best of a dream laptop. And for advanced users, take this video as a checklist for the stuff you need to do right after you buy a new laptop. First things first, we need to check the laptop physically in order to make sure that we did not receive a broken or a lesser unit. For that, make a video of the box and unboxing of laptop if bought online, which will help in faster resolution of any problem that may have occurred during delivery. Keep the invoice of the laptop safe and best scan it or ask for a PDF copy and save it in your email because that will help you with a lot of trouble with the service center later on. Trust me. Next check the box and all the things and match it with the manifest which is written somewhere on the side of the box. If there are some things missing, well that video that you made of unboxing it will come in real handy. That is the only proof that you either received less than you should have or received a broken unit. After all is checked, next step is to boot the laptop. But before trying to boot the laptop, put it on charge for a few minutes and then boot the laptop as the battery may have drained and you might go into shock that the laptop doesn't work. So charge it up a bit, keep it plugged in and go towards setting up your windows for the first time. Now after you are on the desktop while being connected to the internet, the most important thing to check is the activation of the windows. Press windows plus R and type in CMD and press enter. Once you are on the command line, type this this command and hit enter. After a few seconds, you will see a dialog box. If the box says that the machine is permanently activated, it means that the copy of the windows is genuine. But if it says anything else like this, it means that the laptop's windows is not genuine. This is important to detect any issues with windows activation beforehand in case you bought a secondhand laptop or if you bought it from any unauthorized person claiming it has the latest genuine windows. Next, check the specifications of the laptop thoroughly because you may have been scammed by giving lower spec laptop after promising a higher one. We can check general specifications by opening the task manager and see the CPU, GPU, RAM, hard drive or SSD, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth version. If you need to dig in deeper, it can be done using the software CPUZ or run this command in run dialog box and this will tell you the smallest details of your particular laptop. This list is however too extensive for this video so if you want me to make a special video explaining all this, comment down below. Now that the software is all checked, let's check the hardware of the laptop. Like all the ports by plugging in the suitable device and cables. This is important as sometimes some ports may not be working or malfunctioning, which you may not notice until it's too late and the warranty is already out. The next is screen. For screen, we need to check the screen bleed by placing it in a really dark room and go to this website and click on this button. If it looks somewhat uniform or maybe a little uneven on the edges, it's okay. But if it is too uneven like this, you may be entitled for a replacement as screen bleed is a lot and may increase over time. Next we need to check the screen for any dead pixels by going on this website and clicking here. It will display various colors and you need to check for any unusual color or a dead pixel which may be white or black permanently in all the colors. If this is the case, again you need to get it replaced. Coming to the keyboard, go to this website and check for any keys not working or ghosting. Basically the keyboard should register at least 6 to 10 keys at a time and if it does that means there is no ghosting but if it does not register as much keys that means there is ghosting and back to the service center we go for replacement. Next we check the trackpad if it is fully clickable and supports all the multi gestures. Check the speakers by playing any song however this test will only tell if the speakers work or not. Sound quality may vary from laptop to laptop. Now if it is all good well congrats you have a very good working hardware. Next we want to check the internal hardware and its performance whether it delivers what's expected of it or no. But before that, we need to check for any updates of drivers and windows. As for performance testing, we need to make sure that all the drivers are updated so that the hardware runs at its full potential and is not held back by outdated drivers. Usually Windows 11 updates cover most of the hardware driver updates as well. But just to be sure, we can also get the drivers specific to your laptop by typing on Google the brand's name followed by driver download. For example, Lenovo laptop driver download. Make sure to click on the official website link and fill in the serial number of your laptop printed on the back side of the laptop. This will help you to see and download the exact drivers that your laptop needs. After all the drivers and windows has been updated, the laptop is ready to be used for any purpose. But we need to check if after all updates, the laptop performs as good as you thought it would. So to test the CPU's performance, you can download
download and run Cinebench R23 benchmark for a stress test and see if the results match the standards. If it does match with a variation of about 5 to 7%, it's completely fine. Make sure that the laptop is plugged in while testing and no other work is being done on the laptop. Next, we do a hard drive test with Crystal Disk Info, which will give all the information about your storage and then Crystal Disk Mark for the stress test. Again, check with the hardware standards online and compare. Now is the final test, the real life application of the laptop, that is the game test. Assuming that since you got a gaming laptop, you must own one AAA title. But before running it, make sure that you have a FPS and temperatures monitoring software like MSI Afterburner, which is free and easily available online. After installing it, just run the game and check if the FPS, temperatures and hardware usage matches the benchmarks available online for the same game. A variation of 5 to 10% is ignorable as the test conditions like room temperature, background task, internet speed, etc. may vary. So at this point, the laptop is fully checked and ready to use. Now let's quickly go through various optimizations you can do to achieve the desired result in your laptop. The laptop can be optimized for basically two uses, gaming and editing or traveling and working. While traveling or working in the office, we do not want high power usage, we want more battery life and we need not worry about the temps. So to achieve this, first search battery in the search bar, then click on power and battery. There you can see an option named power mode, which would be automatically set to be balanced. Click on it and choose best power efficiency and then turn on the battery saver about three options below. This will help you to achieve a good battery backup, lower temperatures and lower fan noises. Additionally, you can right click on the desktop and click on the display settings. Scroll down below to advanced display. There you will see an option to choose the refresh rate. Just click on it and choose the 60 Hertz option. This will reduce the refresh rate and the power consumption by the screen, which will further help you to increase the battery life. 60 Hz is more than enough for any day-to-day -day usage. Additionally, you can also open the laptop's brands inbuilt app like the Vantage for Lenovo, Armory Crate for Asus and select quiet mode or silent mode in the thermal profiles which will reduce the power usage and the fan speed. If it has a MUX switch, which in 2023 it should, switch it to iGPU mode only, though in most cases switching to quiet mode does this automatically. But check this just to be sure. Also, turn off the keyboard backlight if you do not need it. Doing all this will give give you a great battery backup from any laptop. Now, while gaming or doing any power hungry task, we need to do the exact opposite and go to power options and choose maximum performance. Go to display settings and choose the highest refresh rate that you can, which may be 240Hz, 165, 144 or 120Hz depending upon your laptop. Go to inbuilt performance optimization software and switch to maximum performance in thermal mode, which will use the maximum resources of the laptop. Turn on GPU overclock if you have the option. Turn on on DGPU mode only in the MUX switch setting which will give a massive boost in the game FPS. Turn on overdrive mode which will reduce the screen latency which is really good for eSport games. Also if you have an option turn on auto HDR which will help you to improve the screen resolution and the crispness. Doing all this will help you to achieve the desired results from your laptop be it maximum battery or maximum performance. If you found this guide helpful please like and subscribe for more guides and laptop reviews. Thank you.